Hello and welcome back to Board Crazy. My name is D, and I'm joined, as I always am, or at least usually am, by these two. I'm Graham. Hello, Graham. And I... <laughs> Chris, up. <laughs> and I'm Will. Yeah. I thought you you had an opportunity to say, like, I'm joined by these colorful fellows. No. Or, we're kinda, not looking, not very creative today. We're kind of monochromatic today. I guess that's true. Uh, <laughs> so we are, uh, we're doing a, a, an all-in-one uh, playthrough and... Um, not review. review. Give our thoughts. That's on. what the name is in the title. It's, yeah, yeah, we're playing Hughes and Cues here, uh, which is a game by Scott Brady, published by the Op. It's for three to ten players, so we're uh, skirting in at the bare minimum mm. here. It's more of a uh, party game, I guess. But you know, we've played it. It, it. You know, you can play it with three. It works. It's very quick, as the time of the video probably uh, demonstrates. Well, not if we do thirty-five rounds. True, uh, but for three players, the official number is two rounds. So we'll be doing two rounds. Fine. That's, Feels like too few. That's what the updated rule book on the internet says. This one actually doesn't have rules for three players somehow. That was a bit of an oversight, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, a game of, uh, what's a guessing game? You know, kind of like code names. We'll yeah. explain how this works here. Uh, so each player takes two turns in a three player game, and I think with. So I, I can look it up here real quick. Uh, yeah, seven or more, each player only does it once. I assume that's still the case in the updated rules. So uh, I'm going to be going first. First player is the person who is wearing the most colorful outfit. Uh, it was close. It was really, really close. Let us know who you think is the most colorful. Yeah, I mean, they can't see the things below the I table. That's really what the tiebreaker was. I think my red is the most vibrant. It might be most vibrant. It's but like cherry it's not red. not the dog. most colorful outfit overall, unfortunately, which is... Uh, well, I said that quite our country. underwear should come into account because I'm wearing tie-dye down there. Mm -hmm. But no. Okay. Right, anyways, how the game works. Uh, so the the, uh, the cue giver draws a card. This each card. Um, I'll, I'll show you. Oh, no, I'll put up. Well, oh, yeah, actually, show your card to. Uh, each card comes with. Hold it steady. Uh, four different colors steady. to choose from. You simply have to choose one, <clears throat> and then you can give a, uh, a one word uh, cue, they're called, to the other players, and they can then place one of their markers on the spot on the board that they think matches the color. Yeah. Uh, so, like, if I was trying to do D's shirt, mm -hmm. I would say, like, ketchup, you know? Yeah, that's a color. You know? And then, right. and then people would be like, oh, what looks like ketchup on here? And then that's... I feel like ketchup's probably a little bit darker. It is. I was just... Yeah, I, you know what, Graham? It, just tear me down more. It's fine. <laughs> okay. So there are some rules about what kind of uh, cues can be given. You cannot give uh, general colors. You can't say red, for example, for, uh, you know, like our shirts, or blue. But you can say shades. So, like... Uh, rose. Rose would be a confusing one, since roses come in many colors. Yeah, but rose but red is... People the You also can't uh, reference anything in the room. There's a lot of stuff in this room. Yeah. Graham. Yeah, you can't just say <laughs> Graham and then try to figure out what color that means. Graham's kind of a light blue. I'm kind blue of today. Aw. And then we'll, ah! we'll get to how the scoring works here after we've uh, started playing a bit. So I'll go first, because uh, uh, I am the most colorfully dressed, trust me. i got a lot going on down here. Well, also, you show the camera. That full chest tattoo mm -hmm. that you have. Is... Well, that's not really an outfit. That's, that's a permanent thing. From See, my, here's the, the thing. Opposite days. Here's the thing is, Dee's actually wearing pants today, and we're not. So yeah. Yeah. that was the tiebreaker. All right. Uh, I'm going to say mint. For the first guess, it's clockwise order, so Graham will go first, and then Will will What's go it? second. Graham, it's, it's cool mint. You might want to yeah, go I mean, if it's cool, is it spearmint? Is it peppermint? I know. And those are all, well, cool mint might be two words, but spearmint and peppermint are one word. He could have gone that Is it like the, the mint, the U.S. Like mint? Oh, no, like, oh, like U.S. mint. You know, is it something like that? In which case, I don't even know. Did you guys see that uh, 1933 gold coin, the last one ever made by the United States? And it's the only one that can be sold? Because no. they were supposed to be melted down. They were ordered to be melted down back in 1933. And it sold for $18 million, I, yeah. like last week. People pay a lot for coins I, that I'd are pay, I'd, only worth about 25 I'd cents. Pay them. <laughs> well, no, but this, is a, this was a $20 in gold coin in 1933. Uh, right. well, it's probably worth a lot of money I now, but not $18 million. I mean, imagine it's worth its weight in gold, which is probably not $18 million. Will, mint! I feel like D would be like right around... I'm going to go there. Okay. All right. So here's how, now, now how this goes is I have the option, if I choose, 
of giving a second clue, which can be up to two words. Uh, if I do, then in reverse order, they will place their, their second things down. Um, I could, if I want, for competitive reasons, uh, choose to forego my second guess. Uh, you'll, you'll maybe see why here uh, momentarily. This is, this might be obscure. I'm for, on the edge of my seat I'll, right I'll, now. Some of our viewers, but I'm going to say Jacksonville Jaguars. That was one word. You could say two words for your second clue. Wait, the Jaguars, they were like, now they were, I feel like, a more bluish tint. So I think he's trying to guide us this way. Don't. Do they have that one? Yeah. Go here. I have no idea. You've watched uh, football? No, I don't watch football. <laughs> you know what they look like? You've seen it, Graham. Graham's going there. Okay, may I have the scoring uh, frame? Nexus, is that So, how thought. this works is this gets uh, centered around the correct answer. Which in this case was N twenty three. Dave, what is way your mint? Off. N twenty three for yes. mint. Mint green. Mint. Have you never seen mint green? Mint, mint, mint green. I was thinking of the herb mint, which is definitively just green. Why? <laughs> mint green. If I wanted just a green, why would I say mint? I could see index and grass. <laughs> see, any teal. Any other any other word would have been fine for that spot. You know, Graham. You know what I mean. Mint green. Okay, he's I right. I don't buy it. <laughs> but you, he's right. Mint green is blue. But he said mint, all right? He's so <laughs> stupid about mint green. It's blue. Call you it know you blue. can do shades. If I'm saying a shade, ow. Okay. The pen is blue. <laughs> There's no scoring for this round, which is not very helpful for you at home. In the future, perhaps we'll have some points scored, and we'll explain how this These works. These are my two rounds. Graham. So <laughs> he just lost the game. No, I'm winning. I'm coming back. I'm going to throw it when you guys are up. All right, Graham, your turn. Please, let's try to score some points this time, guys. Okay. Highlighter. Yeah. All right, well, I'm guessing I'm guessing he means, like, the standard, the standard highlighter. The like standard dark purple highlighter. Hi well, I mean, you could get one. You can get orange. So you highlight things with the but dark But I think he color. means over here. Yeah, it seems likely. Um, There's a lot of bright yellow over there, though. Um, okay. I'm gonna hmm. put me put me on uh, J four, please. Boom goes the dynamite. Now, Graham, you may, if you choose, give a second two word, one or two word clue. Oh, can you see it? I could have if I were looking. You're just looking. I just watch your eyes. And he's like holding it down. Or are you looking at Graham? Like, there's so many. Like it's easy to. I don't know. Graham. Myron Graham. Myron Graham. Safety vest. Safety vest. <laughs> All right, I'm first. Just put me on J3, I guess. Whoops. Good job. Will. Okay. Okay. Well, we've got a cluster there. Would you like to uh, show us the, uh, the correct answer? Oh, no. No! Oh, three. L3. L3. All right. We got you guys close. So now we can explain the scoring. <laughs> I thought I'm going one down. Damn. Dang. All right. So here's how this works. So everyone inside, <coughs> every uh, piece inside of the frame scores two points for their player. So Will gets four points out of that. Hey. Uh, that? Everyone around the border of the frame, including on the diagonals, gets one point per piece. So that's two for me. And then it's one point a piece for the Q giver for every piece inside the frame, so that's two points for Graham as well. well so uh, Will Thank takes you, the lead. I may have my pieces back, please. Will will now be the, the uh, Q giver. There's your card. I feel like you should get more points for giving good clues, getting people close. We well, you, you get you get points at all, unlike myself. I got zero points apparently because you guys don't know what Mint Green or the Jacksonville Jaguars. Well, you gave bad clues. Like, I mean. I don't think I do. The audience at home will vindicate me, won't you, audience? Let me know how you thought my cue giving was. Will, what are you doing? I'm just thinking. thinking. Will has no concept of color. You I should don't. have known that we would both immediately think of the plant mint. I shouldn't have known that. Just Considering my love of mint juleps. No justification. Yeah, okay. And his love of mojitos. I mean, you've had like mint flavored foods, I think, or whatever. I'm bad at colors. This is not a game for the colorblind. That's I'm for very sure. Colorblind, the problem. Will is not colorblind. He's just a little dumb. 
<laughs> it's a little, a little dumb. He doesn't get out much. No. Okay, I'm going to go with... the colors of the world. <laughs> I'm going to go with... Olive. Olive? olive? Surely he means the fruit, and, and not a shade of green. <laughs> Shut up, T. <laughs> Put me on P1. Bottom corner. Yeah, I was thinking more like... Mm. Maybe some similar shades. And also, what it looks like to D over there is different than what it looks like to you here. Mm. You're right, I'm at a disadvantage. That's why we... Uh, on the same page. He'll act like he's trying to be strategic, but it's really because he just doesn't <laughs> think up two words. I'm trying to think of something that's definitively this shade that I've seen before. Even if you say and you're like, yes, that's exactly it, it's still probably not going to help us. All right. Uh, the, the, my clue is Granny Smith. Granny Smith. Maybe he meant olive skin, and he knows someone named Granny Smith who has olive-colored skin. <laughs> That's it. This <laughs> is getting personal clues. Put me on 03. I'm gonna hedge a little. All right, Will. What is it? Uh, let's just move on. Next round. <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's, uh, it's Dutch. M8. M8. What olives do you eat? Okay, look. I was just trying to get you guys in the vicinity, then I was going to rock you in. But look, against the all black background, that looks a bit more like Granny it Smith. Doesn't look like an olive or Granny Smith. Yes, it does. Like, I've had a Granny Smith apple recently that had the exact same color to my eyes. <sighs> but D wasn't any better the first round. I didn't see him getting the level of ridicule. That's because he's up on some pedestal. And I was ridiculing. Dude, you did a really I good job. I was ridiculing you guys. You're the ones who messed up, not me. No, I didn't mess up. I haven't messed up once. Yeah, you went the easy route, all right? I always go for the hard colors on mine. All right, I could have just been like blue, and then you guys would have known where to go. But I didn't, see, I didn't do that. You can't. You can't say blue. God dang it. Why not? Let's get a little ambitious. Sunrise. How does that even mean, man? It can be pink. It can be I know. purple. I think in dark G30. blue. Thirty. Ooh, so you're going a bit more orange than I was thinking. I don't know. There's a lot of colors in a sunrise. I was thinking just a couple below you. There's a lot of colors in a sunrise. Yeah, no, it could be it could be like something like that. Could be a little more yellow. Could be yeah. Could be pink. Hey, you could even mean it could be a little greenish. Yeah, green sunrise. We have those in where we're where we're at. It's rare, but it happens. Sunburn. Sunburn. Okay. Will's first this time. Sunburn. Yeah. I you know sun man. Got sun and everything. Yeah. I'm gonna go a little bit. You gonna go darker? I think a little bit. I mean, I feel like the sky's never. I've never seen a blood red sunrise, but maybe D has. Okay. Uh, well, this is very exciting, everybody. The correct answer was D eight. Oh, he got it. We'll got it. Exactly. Uh, three points so for me. Three points for getting the exact right answer. You're up to seven. Uh, Graham gets four, two. What are you saying? And I also get two. Keeping a pace with Graham, at least. All right. Graham, your final turn. I gotta anyway, step it up. Highlighter. Long game. No. You can't, actually, another thing you can't do. I barely do, know her. You cannot give a, a clue uh, that's already been given in the game. Sunrise. I'm going to say Valentine. <sighs> I've never been anyone's Valentine. Forever alone, hashtag. All right. It's going to be... Rick. Do, it's, do you honestly blame humans for that? I blame everyone else but myself, Graham. That's called accountability. <laughs> now, I mean, it could be pink, but I'm assuming red. Because when you see... I've gotten the candies before. Mm -hmm. The chocolates, and it's in a red box. So I'm going to go off that. I'm going to assume he's referring to the blood that was spilled at the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Massacre. Oh, yeah. so a darker red. Um, so I'm just going to go right there. Ooh, snap, snap, snap. Now, he could be thinking of more of like a pink. Possibly. Hmm. Oh, yeah. We're about to learn that Graham has some weird Valentine's Day traditions <laughs> that have nothing it's brown normally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's your favorite color? Uh, black. Seriously? Oh, yeah. Ugh. What? It's clean. I forgot you were a goth in high school. I wasn't a goth in yes, high school. Yes, you were. Don't listen to Will. He lies. 
You were a major goth. No, I wasn't. Yep. Show I got them. the pictures. Please show them. I'd yep. love to see these pictures of me as a goth. I'd... But you weren't even like a real goth. You were like a hot topic goth oh. guy. <laughs> yes, you were. Say. <laughs> you were. It's this is on the internet now. <laughs> it's the truth. I just have to say it's the truth. Victoria's I... Secret. Oh, you're thirsty. Victoria's Secret. Mm-hmm. The heck? I don't. I'm not sure what that means. But I'm gonna go there. I feel like they sell a variety of colors. Do they have like a? It's like. Is it like a logo or something? Yeah, that we're not I'm thinking of. Like I don't. I don't shop there for myself very often. Um, shop there for myself all the time. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna stay on. I'm gonna stay on my track. Uh, I was gonna hedge. Graham. Oh, really? E16. E16. Yeah, Boy. Pink. I was just thinking pink. Well, I think you might have been talking about pink. I didn't think it meant like that Damn. pink. Wow. Man, we're terrible at this game. We're really not great. <laughs> there were a bunch of people. You got idiots. High uh, scoring. Was high well, high scoring. It's going to be hard for us to win at this point. I'm just going to sabotage you guys. It's really impossible, actually. I think yep. he's got an unsurmountable lead. <laughs> but. So he could just. I just need to not give any clues. Give us horrible clues. <laughs> give you horrible Actually, clues. no, he doesn't. If 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 only no, one of us it. gets five points, and the other person just whiffs entirely. I'm gonna play it straight up. All right, we, we have have to. Play it we well, no, because he'll get two. two you get two. Yeah. You get nine. Then um, no, you get the not nine as well from four. Grape. A fruit notoriously that comes in two colors. <laughs> what do you mean two? I mean, more than two, I guess, but it famously comes in two. two. Have you seen cotton candy grapes? That's a different color. I'm going... Uh, Yellow and green grapes. Grape! He's not trying to get us to score. He wants to just mess with us. So no. He could mean grape I think he's going, jelly? I think he's going, like, traditional grape flavoring purple. Probably. That's what I, I would I think assume. he's messing with us. I think he's going for literal grapes after the whole olive fiasco. I can't trust him anymore. Right there. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> Like a literal red grape. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right there. C28. All right. Will, what do you got for us? <laughs> this is green. Oh my god, if he does something like. It's a green grape. Kool Aid. I knew you were gonna say Kool Aid. I'm not kidding. I knew you were gonna mind. say Kool Aid. Yeah. Okay, so grape Kool Aid. I think yes. we can infer what he uh, meant there. Yeah. Uh, Graham, you're first, unfortunately. So you have your pick up only these dark purples. Okay. Ooh, I was thinking darker than that. I was thinking like, I'm, I'm going about as dark as I can. All right. Probably, um, it's probably a little darker. I was. No, I mean on my, you have to understand on the card it always looks darker than it does on look the board. Look at the board. You have it here. Just look I'm at going it. off the card. What is it? It's uh, D28. You. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, no, just me. I know. If... Okay, so two points for Will. Four points for Graham. So if I hadn't hit that, I would have tied him. Yep. yep. Oh. No point for me. I honestly thought about going darker, <laughs> just having you move it one down. But That's close, though. I can't, I can't do that, I don't think. Yeah. My red. Yeah, it was really... <laughs> got a flyer. You never know. I got a flyer over here. It just didn't go on target. So obvious he did not. Mean. You, I don't know with him. He's a confusing person. He doesn't look at the board. He can be... oh, so that doesn't look like a grape. Sure, like a red <laughs> no, grape. No, red grape would be like six, maybe. It's like one away. It's not one away. That's pretty close. That's, to our, that's pretty close that's to red not, grape. That's pretty close. Those are the reddest grape. grapes I've ever seen. I wouldn't eat those grapes. I would. Someone brought me the Probably grapes delicious. that red. I'd look, like, man, mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of options. It gets brown very quickly over. All right, well that's the game. I win. That is. A game of hues and cues. I'm taking that win. So that's, I think that's on par with my, my Three Kingdoms win. Congratulations on this. Uh. So, this is totally legitimate win, Will. Nine to eight. Five. Don't, yeah. We're not going to worry about the crown. I'm going to get it. I'm not going to wear it. I'm just going to get it, though. It just doesn't it's need, been it. Just doesn't need to be seen Ooh. Ooh, it's or slick. felt. It's just... Oh, it's not great. Yeah, no. I don't know why you even bothered, frankly. So, yeah. Now, um, now that we've played it, Oof, uh, we need to. We can talk about we need it. To blow this. We have to. We have to review this. Will. Yeah. So I mean, we've only played this with three players. You know, pandemic still sort of a thing, so it's hard to gather a group of ten, or or, or close to ten, to uh, maybe play this in its <laughs> full glory. I don't know how good it would be yeah. actually at that at that many. I think there's probably a sweet spot in the middle somewhere, maybe around six. 
there, yes, there were a few rounds where we were like pretty much spot on on our first guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in a, with a lot of people, you might have a situation where someone gets it like right away, and then everyone else has to kind of. Well, it's not so much that. It's a, I feel like, but with so many clues, there's like an obvious area. Yeah. So it's gonna just fill up really quickly. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying like. We saw you interpreted a clue differently there in the last round. Sure. If um, if you had a several people doing that, you could have like a cool situation going on where, like maybe the smaller group is closer to the target. You know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. I don't know. Game seems kind of novelty to me in the sense that it's like, at first like, oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah, I could play that. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh yeah, this is cool. And then after like, you know. A few rounds, you're like, okay, I've had enough. Yeah, especially after I go. Yeah, definitely. That well, doesn't, it doesn't Granny say Smith. it's welcome, that's for sure. It, yeah. it, it plays about as quickly as it probably should. Uh, I, I think, obviously, it's limited somewhat in the fact that it is working with colors. Yes. Uh, yeah. There's, you know, and, and, you know, with restrictions therein, like, mm -hmm. there's only so many, like, good clues for yeah. any given hue. Yeah. And, you know, unlike something like code names, which work somewhat similarly, like, you know, giving cues and then the other person trying to infer what you mean, um, you know, you have a lot more, like, yeah, there's options a lot, with yeah. words, you know, yeah. like, it's a much more complex. It's not like the know. colors are constantly changing yeah. and adjusting and stuff throughout yeah, the... Exactly. I also think you deal with the fact that some people just truly do see colors differently, and I'm not just talking about colorblind people. I've had arguments... Before with my friends over like what's pink and what's purple, um, you know, sh different shades of stuff that you know what's more green, it more is blue. Colorblind. But yeah, no, no definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like uh, yeah. Obviously, people will perceive things differently. But if you are colorblind, this is obviously not even like, really an option yeah. for you. I also think there's like a mental thing going on in our brains where you look at a card and you have four different colors, but then on the board, since it's all gradient of colors and they're all very close. Mm -hmm. I think our brain interprets these a little differently than how we see them on here. You should definitely look at the board when you're giving a yeah. clue. Uh, yeah, even though they are obviously surrounded by black here as well. Um, yeah, definitely, it, it is, it is, does. At the same time, though, your perception. If someone might be like watching someone's eyes, like as they scan yeah, the card. Yeah, also kind of. And then that, like, so kind of be that's why you have that the card, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's not a perfect game, but I do, I, I, I enjoy it, and I think if. Uh, you know, if I was like three or four beverages in, and everyone was being a little raunchy, he loves his milk. You know, because you could definitely play this game to be a little bit more raunchy or crude. You know, instead of just playing it like I guess. You know, if you're just like you and your bros, and you just wanted to, I don't know. You know, you could do like a a version of this game that's a bit more less family friendly. I think it would be fun. Or you could go the complete inverse and play with kids, and you know, do yeah, like yeah, cartoon I, I, characters. I think kids, 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 kids like colors. But yeah, it, sure. So I feel I could see this maybe having a broad appeal there. Honestly, I mean, I I, I, I think maybe the gradient could use some more colors. <laughs> I agree. Which might sound ridiculous, but there's no whites, there's no grays, no black itself. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It seems a little strange. Well, I think because the board is black, and then they yeah. didn't want to do grays because that's how yeah, the colors were. Still though, yeah. I mean, uh, obviously we had some issues with the rule book with. It not being entirely finished. I don't know if we got the early version of this or, or, or what happened exactly. Um, also, I had a heck of a time assembling this, <laughs> which shouldn't have been the case, obviously. It's just four pieces of the cardboard like, put together, but uh, the, the... There's a misprint, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the, the diagram in here that it shows you how to do, it, it does not align with how it actually looks in real life. So I was having like a headache trying to figure like, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. And it's like, oh no, you just need the twos on the inside. That's all, that's all it needs. Right. So it doesn't actually have to look like that, but yeah. So yeah, it's not like a, you know, it's not like a great game or anything like that. Uh, I, I probably wouldn't be playing this very often. Uh, I, I, yeah, like I think there are situations and groups for whom this will probably be appealing. But we're not gonna score this, right? I don't think there's a need to. I think it's too light to even be we able to... We haven't live. traditionally done that in these yeah. types of videos. Yeah. So, yeah, you, gotta, you know, our general our general thoughts on it, though, should be pretty clear. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for our uh, coverage here of Hughes and Cues. Uh, we hope it was pleasurable for you. Mentally stimulating. Um, I hope you all agreed with me that... Uh, what mint green looks like. Wrap I'm, it up. Still, wrap it up. I'm still Stop bitter. Lingering. I'm still bitter. Okay. On the like, if there you please, go. that would be fantastic. Obviously, comment any thoughts you have uh, about our playing, our fantastic, skillful playing. 
Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell so you know when our uh, next video comes out. And our social media is down in the description below if you want to follow us on any of those platforms. I think that will do it then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, come back next time. I think we'll be probably doing another s smaller uh, sort of all-in-one video like this again. Yeah. Um, before we get back to maybe something a bit uh, heftier. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. See you next time.